my husband almost drowned on our vacation. If you can't swim, stay your ass out the water. Thank you. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm your favorite girl Diva. If you are new to my channel, you're most definitely welcome. If you're not new to my channel and you a day one, stay one. What's good, boo? What it do? You already know what it is. But if you're new back to you, please subscribe to my channel. If you are not already subscribed, it does help me out a lot. Don't forget to like the video, hit the thumbs up button, and the notification bell. The notification bell, if YouTube is on her Zoom, she will notify you on when I post, upload, or go live. Now, as you see in the title down below, girl, we about to get lit. And I'm going to tell you a story time. So, before I get into it, quick disclaimer. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Okay, you heard, I'm not advocated for y'all to do anything with y'all lives unless you are of age, have a medical card, live in a medical state, <laughs> or a recreational state. Because YouTube, you want me to give a little disclaimer, so let me go ahead and do that though. This, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I am not advocated for y'all to do nothing. Okay? Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So what I got today... I got two sativa pre-rolls. This one is 21.75%, rounding up, 22% THC, and this is Durban Nights. I also have, I got it because it was pink off rip. I seen it was pink and then I looked at the THC. So <laughs> this one is called Pink Night. It's another sativa and it's 26.31% THC. So we finna go ahead and, 27. We finna go ahead and go ahead and get into it, okay? So like I said, you didn't hear me wrong. I have two pre-rolls. Cause I like to do the most, okay? We finna go ahead and get into it. Let me see if I can light both of them or if I, do I need two lighters? If you got a vape, a joint, a bong, a blunt, a rig and you wanna get lit with me, you live in a recreational state, you have a medical car, are you, or you are of age, let's go ahead and get into it. Did it work? Girl, you can hear the folks upstairs, my bad. They get on my motherfucking nerves. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the story time. Maybe I need to turn this on. What y'all think? Is this better or do you like the other way? Because it's going to get dark outside. So, as I was saying, we went on a carnival cruise. That vlog will probably be posted later, um, either this week or next week for sure. But last time we went on a carnival cruise, it was January. And my husband booked us an excursion. This is his thing. I don't know what's wrong with him, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with him. But he can't swim. Nobody in his family can swim. But what do he like to do? Book water excursions. Why do he like to do that? I don't know. Please, please. Move back on that. Move back on that. I don't know, okay? So, am I even going to be able... Cause y'all know I like to talk, run my mouth. I feel like this one hitting more, so we gonna start this thing off right. We gonna stick with this one, and then we gonna migrate to that one. I got my water here. I got my cranberry juice, no sugar added. I got my drink and my two step. I'm just playing, y'all. Let me stop. I'm finna get on somebody' nerves today. Sorry. So. Again, like I said, he loves to book water excursions and the nigga can't swim. His mama can't swim. His two sisters that also came. He has three sisters, but only two of the three came. They both can't swim. His little brother, he's six foot every, every bit of six five. Nick can't swim. He can't swim. Like nobody in the family can swim. So him and his sister were this close. Like, you know that pinch emoji? They was this close to death. Death. Not death, death. 
Like, can't take it. So, and mind you, I'm gonna keep it a butt. Let's keep it a bean. I do not save drowning people. I will not. I will not. And I told him, I tell him this millions, billions, and gazillions of times. Over and over. I tell him, if you ever are drowning in front of me, it's gonna be a sad day for both of us. Cause I'm not jumping in to get you. I'm not jumping in to get you. If you are drowning near me, I'm getting the fuck away from you. You hear me? Like, you is not finna reach out and grab nor touch me. I'm getting from around you. You're not finna kill both of us. It's just not finna happen. Like, I, just like Noel say, I can only help you as far as I can throw you. And I, I don't lift nothing more than 25 pounds. Let's get into it. So, my husband booked an excursion. We went out. We were in Cozumel, Mexico. We went out on a clear, um, a clear see-through bottom boat, like, we went out, they took you out, like out, 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 deep water, like deep water. And we were snorkeling on a reef. They took us to a reef. And <sighs> girl, I'm finna get mad all over again. Cause this is the thing. Like I don't mess with water. I don't play around water. My family taught me that. Like we do not play around water. My parents, my dad can swim, but my mom cannot. None of her siblings can swim. All of my dad's family can swim. My mom had a brother in the Navy who drowned because I guess the ship, the ship, I think the ship capsized and everybody on that ship had passed away. So from that point, just down the line, their mama, my granny, she's scared of water, like deathly afraid of water. None of her kids know how to swim. The fact that you are scared of water, all your kids should know how to swim. Yeah, Cause you can't jump in to get them. They should at least be able to save one another or each other like themselves. Like it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to not talk so fast, but like this storytelling, it got my adrenaline going. So we all get our snorkels. They give us life jackets. And this is another thing. It's very much possible to drown with a life jacket on. It's very possible to drown with a life jacket on because I literally was watching it happen. So they pull us up to the spot. They say, all right, jump out. <clears throat> they say, all right, jump out. We're all like jumping out, getting into the water. And while they're getting in the water, I said, hey, your dad has water in his snorkel. And I think, I, actually, I think at this point, I was already in the water, but I was just like, I peep everything. I be just looking around. I was too scared to look down because one thing about it, I don't care how clear the water is. I don't care if it's murky. If it's murky, I ain't getting in it. Let's, let's be clear. If it's murky, I'm not in it. My name Ben. My name Benny, and I'm not in it. The water, I'm meaning. So, if the water is clear, oh, great. But I definitely don't want to look down. I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to look down and see a, 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 um, a <laughs> submarine. I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to look down. I didn't look down for like a good 15 minutes. So, like I have to work myself up to that. But if I, I could jump in some water easily because I can swim. I've been swimming since a baby. Like, <clears throat> they would literally, you can walk. Oh, okay, we throwing you in the pool. You in the pool floating to the bottom like, okay, you can come get me now. Once you realize they're not coming to get you, bitch, you better swim up. You know how many times I got through in a pool when I was a baby and, and sat there like float to the bottom? Float to the bottom. Okay, come get me. No, ma'am, they're not coming to get you. When you on your last life, they'll come get you because they realize you ain't coming up. But nah, I man, I learned very quickly how to swim. Let's be clear. So... We're all in the water, me, his dad, his sister, his brother, and his other sister. His, sis his other sister was the last to get in, and I saw water in her snorkel, but at the same time, mind you, she said, you guys, I can't swim, I don't even want to do this, but I'm, I already paid for it, I'm going to try. So, she falls in the water. What gets in her snorkel? In her, in her tube. Obviously, the tube is in her mouth. She's like, oh, I did it. Ha, ha, ha. Kiki, ki, ki, laughing. While she's laughing, water gets into her mouth, and she swallows it and starts coughing. Now she's freaking out because she 
thinks she's drowning because I don't think she even knew that water was in her snorkel. So they were like, yo, somebody help her. She's she's um drowning. The guy's swimming to her, and I'm literally swimming away from her. I this is her and this is me. I said, yeet. <laughs> around with it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> no ma'am. Nope, 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 nope. I said, and went right back to the boat. I said, get me on. Put me on the boat. And at this time, my husband was still in the boat. And his mom was like, she she calls me Coda. She said, you done, Coda? I was like, nah, but there's too much going on right now. When everybody gets settled and everybody who's going to get off the boat gets off the boat, then I'm going to get off the boat. But until then, I need to stay here because I just thought she was going to reach out and grab me. And I, I just was, to me, was almost going to lose my life. <laughs> I got away from her so fast. I was not playing. I said, yo, come, somebody come get her as I was swimming away. I was I, like, I'm not playing. If I'm not going to save my husband, you think I'm going to save you? Like, I definitely can't lift you up. Let's be for real. So, she gets back in the boat. Because she like, yeah, that's too much for me. I tried. I almost died. Getting my ass back in the boat. So, once she got back in the boat, my husband was out the boat. I got, actually, I got out the boat, and then my husband came behind me. So I'm swimming out, swimming out, snorkel not in my mouth. I said, the snorkel is not going to help me. I know how to hold my breath, the snorkel. I'm swimming, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. His other sister and brother is already out there as well as his dad. I hear his sister say, yo, somebody get my brother. I said, what the hell? <laughs> now I'm swimming back. I'm swimming back to the boat because he's near the boat. So I'm swimming back that way. I'm swimming. When I tell you I'm swimming, and I'm pissed. I'm like, if I gotta save this motherfucker, I'm swimming, boy. And I, and this is like crazy because I said I would not swim to you if you're drowning. <sighs> My fighter flag kicked in. I'm finna go fight for a nigga. What the hell? Okay, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming past his daddy who's holding on to the life raft or the ring, the ring that people throw you when they're drowning. And I'm like, give me this. He's drowning. He need this. And he's just deep to deep to deep. <laughs> Like he is not, I don't know if he was aware of what was happening. You about to be down the sun um, or what? But I was like, give me this, give me this. He did not give up the thing. Like, so I dropped this go. The lifeguard is also swimming to him that cause we was out there with, Jose, I'm gonna call him Jose. He was out there too. So he goes to my dude and I'm like, babe, take that shit out of your mouth. I said, take that out your mouth. I was pissed because I think this nigga finna die. Like, <laughs> I don't know why when I get in situations like that, I off rip, <laughs> I get mad and I like, I need to fix the issue. So I'm swimming to him and I'm yelling at the same time, take the snorkel out your mouth. I said, you got water in it because that's what was happening to him. And the whole time, I was telling everybody, stop dipping your head back in the water because water's gonna get in your snorkel. <sighs> Girl. They got to him. Obviously, I ain't no widow. He was saved. And he's snick, skinning and grinning. Talking about something. <laughs> Ooh, I got tired. You got tired and you almost drowned. Take your ass back to the boat. He didn't want to get back in the boat. And I, was, I literally said that. I said, get your get in the boat. I said, we'll get in the boat. He was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. He was finna die. And you still want to snorkel? I said, boy, your mama was finna be down a son too. The day after Mother's Day. Oh my God. He didn't even care that he was finna die. He literally did not care. Didn't care. And his, his brother, oh, he can't even swim either. This man, after the fact, we all going back. Like, this is like after the excursion and everything. Like, calm down. We going back to the boat, the ship, whatever you want to call it. Dakota, Dakota, are you okay? I know you almost became a widow today. My brother almost drowned. Bitch, stop talking to me. Stop talking to me right now. Stop. This was me with his lips. Be quiet. I said, Eddie, be quiet, please. Said please, cause clearly your brother don't even realize that he was about to die. Cause he just he too calm for me right now. 
I said, just hush. Be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. But yes, girl, my camera finna overheat anyways. That's the story about how we was finna be two niggas down. Like, it was finna be a really sad day. A really sad day. Like, shout out to y'all, though. Shout out to Carnival, because the excursion was fun until it wasn't. It was, it was real. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm finna finish both of these and go eat my seafood well and watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey because I didn't have the best Wi-Fi on the boat, so... I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. And shout out to God for keeping my husband and his sister. Because if you can't swim, stay your ass out of the water. Thank you. Love you. Bye.